Right, that's all the module legs loose. All desoldered. None of them hanging on, luckily. There's one other screw you need to take out, which, uh, again, in the past I keep forgetting it. This screw here holding the heat sinks in. legs up. Carefully. Don't want any breaking off. Have I got one of those there? Yeah, we can straighten these up properly once it's uh, actually out of the chassis. Here she comes. The project's going to need to take that out totally. Thought I might be able to just back it off, but no, you can't. It's got to come right out. There she blows. A module. I say this has got a zero two on it. Now there is a possibility that this, and I, again, it's probably like the Holy Grail. I've never seen one so far. I've done quite a few of these. Apparently, they made some with AF. 1 2 series, not the 117s and the 116s, but the 127s. So I'm going to fire the desoldering tool up again in a minute. We'll do a live unveiling. Right, all I'm doing here is just taking off these, um, just getting you in a bit closer, see what I'm up to. going to be desoldering these which hold this little tab into the can on both sides again it's far easier with a desoldering tool I don't get quite as much heat on it Prize this one up. There she goes. Okay. Let's turn that racket off. I've actually got one prized up. to do is just pop the soldering iron on 
there very gently and it'll go there we go oh wow would you believe it we have got one of the later modules oh well this is a first for me they must have had a devil of a job I don't think it's been reworked I might be wrong Well, we've got an AF124, a 124. Three 124s in there. And it looks, I'm just trying to see if I can, if it's actually factory or whether someone's done them. I think someone's put these in. I think this has already been refurbed. Difficult to say. I'm going to get the magnifier on it and then just uh, have a double check. But uh, it does look like there is some signs that, because you can see the area where the transistors go, and they've certainly got a bit of scratching on them. Again, it might have been reworked by a dealer. Who knows? Wow, brilliant stuff. So I'm going to stop it there and um, get the magnifier out and have a good look over that. But yeah, that's um, that's a result. So the chat was getting this radio is getting probably the the last version of this they made. There we go. Right, I'm just starting to recap on this. So um, I've checked some of these and we'll get them out in a minute and uh, see what the values are on them. Other things I've done, I've tightened up the dial cord. That's nice and tight now. That's not going to slip anymore. So I've shortened the, the um, dial cord and super glued the knot there, so that should be fine. It's just a case now of getting these um, capacitors out. They are most of them are out of tolerance. I've uh, checked them with one pin undone. This, this one there, 330 is pretty good. This one is uh, a 330 reading 490 I think and this is a 470 reading nearly 700 so they've got to be done. So I'm just going to do them one at a time. I'm using fish A's. So I'm going to fit them uh, So as the value is at the top, they're blue, so they match quite nicely, and uh, they'll give this set a new lease of life. So I'm going to do these, put these in one by one, so I'll make sure I get them in the right place. As usual, we're going to have a nice big blob of uh, flux on it, all of these, to make sure we've got a nice joint. They're really old boards, so uh, there is uh, a bit of controversy surrounding recapping radios. And if it was mine, I would leave it as it is, probably. It just change the ones that are like pretty way out. But being it's um, going over to France, it needs to be right so I don't want this radio coming back so it's going to have every single thing under the sun done to it. So, more work for me but well worth it. Let's just get the uh, structure in. Okay, 
yes it is, values facing upwards, so I've got a negative, uh, hang on, no I haven't, that one's actually backwards, look, dear oh dear, <sighs> well, I was trying to put it in the right way round, so the arrows are pointing that way, so that is the negative, so it's that way round, try again, Round two. Yuck. Flux is horrible. But necessary. Let's come on again. Better. Just pop the uh, leads off. Just give them a touch up. Yeah, this uh, silver one here, it's got like a yellow holder on it to stop this lead shorting onto anything. Um, probably won't retain it, I'll see if... I don't think it'll fit back on actually, because these are going to have to be bigger capacitors, so... This one's a little bit tricky because there's other wires attached to this one, so I need to take a photo of that, just to make sure that's right. It looks like that's been off before as well. So bear with me. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you. I'm just gonna change these two. Then uh, I've got a load more to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that area. So there's one up here to do as well. So that's eight to change still. And there's a little tiny one tucked in behind. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's twelve caps to change on on this side of the board. And there's one on the other side. So all of that should improve the uh, audio even more. And these are great on audio. Great audio quality even I should say. But I'm going to get on with that, so I'm not going to bore you with that. Join me again in a minute. Okay, well the recap is done. On this side of the board I've changed this one. Uh, which just goes uh, to the volume control. 2.2 um, microfarads. Um, just having a look there, just to make doubly sure that is the right one, yeah, because that was the one that was in there. A bit bigger than the other 2.2s for some reason, anyway. So it's that one there done. Now on the other side of the board is the bulk of it. Um, as you can see there, there's a bit of a sea of blue. All of these have been done. You see there's a little tiny one peeping in the back there. If you can see that or not, yeah, just in there. Look, that's another little tiny one. All done. This little 2.2 is done. Various different values. There's a 33 there, there's a 150, 470s, 330s, 680s, and there's another one uh, hiding away down there, like another 150. So, that should sound amazing there because that is the audio section in there so with all those done it should sound like new and we've got another one of these strange T2 um, transistors in here look <laughs> I think that's probably a driver 
the unknown transistor Mark T2. I'm not sure if I've seen one of these in one of these sets before. There he is, like lurking in there. He's just called T2. No one knows. Um, so, more jobs to do before I put a module in there. I've decided I'm going to go with my refurbished module. I've done this one um, back last year. It's got all the AF127s in it and all the caps have been changed. Basically gone through the whole board. Uh, so I'm happy to stick that one in and the other one will go in the refurb line and go in another radio. Um, so I'm going to probably take the volume control out. Um, it does sound all right, but it's one of those things again. You never know. It can go. It can travel a distance. Someone turns it on, and all of a sudden you've got a crackly volume control. So I'm going to take that one out, and uh, it's a little bit awkward because it's double ganged with the the on-off switch. But that will need some redoing, soldering wise anyway. So that's coming out. A little bit tricky because it's got a load of connections on it, but worth doing. On the back side of the board. I'm going to clean up all these pads on that side and on this side, ready for the module to go back in. Um, I've redone some joints as I've been going along that didn't look particularly good. There's a bad earthing connection there. There was some bad um, soldering up here, which I've done. I might need to just pop a little bit more in there. And uh, I found a capacitor that's not looking too healthy down here as well. Um, if you can see it down here, I'll zoom you in a little bit. That's probably fine. It's only the um, potting material broken off of the leg, just on this one here. Look, I can never make out the colour codes on these tropical fish capacitors, so I'm just going to have to look at the manual and um, replace that with an equivalent. I have got some tropical fish caps here somewhere so I might even be able to replace it with a, a new old stock so I'm going to try that. Right as you can see I've tinned all these, cleaned them up and over this side as well that's all done and over here I've disconnected all the wire into this switch and volume pot 